So have you ever wondered how to create an input text component that has three different sizes, five different states, a leading icon and a trailing icon? I've made this file available in the Figma community and there is 10 steps. You can follow along, you can duplicate it. Let me know your feedback in the comments and welcome to the channel. I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. I'm just going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring it down here. So it's going to get a bit messy. So we have our base input text default and I'm going to convert this into an auto layout. So shift A, I'm going to remove the spacing, grab the naming convention. So this is going to start off with this one. Here I just go to the frame name and paste that in. Great. Next thing to do is to duplicate this another four times. So command D, one, two, three, four. If I zoom out, I just select all, shift A, make it vertically align and the spacing of 24. And what I'm gonna do is just go into each one by hitting enter. This will then go into the list. And I just wanna change the name of each property on the third property. So this is going to be focus. This one will be disabled. This one will then be error. And then this one will then be success. Make some adjustments. So I'm just going along here. So I'm going to command D and then I'm going to hit enter and enter. You need to make the visual adjustments on the component layer. So for this one, we this is currently default. So focus, what we're going to do, we're going to go to this layer. I'm just going to add a stroke and I'm going to find the primary color, let's say blue 600. So that is the focus state. The next one is disabled. So I hit enter. I'm just going to change this to gray let's say 200 and just keep it very simple and then the next one here is error hit enter I'm going to give it a stroke I'm going to search for red and again I want 600 and then the last one is success so I hit enter again I give it a stroke and I will look for green 600 leading icon and the trading icon so command D and now what I want to do is just hit enter and I want to then do command R. I want to find all the ones that say false and false and then say true slash false. Rename. So now what I want to do is just hide all of these uh, trailing icons. So I hit enter, enter and the trailing icon is there I just scroll down and just keep hiding all the trailing icons and then I duplicate again so if I hit enter enter oh if I go back hit enter and if I then do let's say command R I want to say the true slash false will become false slash slash true and then hit rename great so again if I enter enter I just want to show all the training icons but I want to hide the leading one so I enter again now I can just go in to each one and hide the leading icons okay great we need to then combine all of them into one auto layout. So we can do that by going here, just clicking on each set, and we are just going to then do Command D. We're going to duplicate them, just drag it down, and then do Shift A. We need it to be vertical with a spacing of, should we say 40, or let's say 80. Great. So here we have our first default set, which I think is pretty cool. 
and then we're just going to rename this frame to default. Now, again, I'm just going to duplicate because we, I'm just showing the gradual process. And now what we want to do is we just want to duplicate this another two times. So Command D, Command D. And we want to get those three and just put that into another auto layout, Shift A. And what we're going to do is hit Enter. So here we got, let's say default is on the left. We then say large and we then say small. Okay, if I command D that, the next step now is to then do some magic swapping. So here we're selecting the large set, we hit enter, enter, you keep hitting enter until you get to the base input text default. And now we go to the swapper, we want to swap that for the large set and boom, straight away is adjusted. Same thing we'll hear, we select small, we hit enter 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 again and we want to look for the small and boom it has adjusted it so that is pretty cool if you're finding value in this video please hit the like button so how do you go about creating an input text component with different sizes states and icons please let me know in the comment section below if i duplicate that again we have to do something important which is renaming the layers so here if i hit enter enter now we're at this uh, naming convention command r i want to change all the input slash default to input slash oops, slash large rename great same thing with this hit enter enter command r i want to find all the input slash default and change that to import slash small rename great we just command the again and now what we're going to do is we want to convert this into a component set so all you have to then do is make sure you've got the whole frame selected hit enter enter and enter until you reach the naming convention layer and then the magic now is if you go up here into the diamond, you create component set. Great. So now we've got some empty frames. We just want to select those and delete. And because I created one before, I'm just going to change the name to input demo. You can just do shift I. I want to test out my new input demo. Okay. And it just randomly puts it there. Let me just drag it out. And now if I zoom right in, you can see we have the different properties which we have to rename. So here I can go large, I can go small, I can be disabled, error, focus, success. I want there to be a leading icon, I want it to be a trailing icon. But that for some reason is not working. So let's find out why. So it's mainly to do with the leading and the trailing icons. So again, what we do is we delete and we delete, ooh, we delete the set that we created. So this is a nice thing about duplicating your work. So again, we're gonna duplicate and here, we're just gonna go in, let's see the large, okay. And just gonna click on this set which has true, false, and this has false and true. Okay, so that looks right to me. This one, hit enter, false and true. And this one is true and false. Okay, so again, we're gonna look at the small set. We're just checking the namings are correct. So for this set, we got false, that's all false. Ah, now you can see where I went wrong. And we got true, false, and then we got false and true. And the reason why is because these, of course, we have to actually hide them because they're all false. So you can see here, the last two properties are false. 
this is got property false false but we're showing our icons which we don't want to so we could go into each of these and hide them but a quick way of doing this is because we created base components we can go in and we can right click we can go to main component so this takes us back to the master or the main component and here we can actually hide so let's see what happens so if i hit enter and if i hide that one and go into this layer and hide now let's zoom out so now what what that has done is if i just go right down into my one you can see here that these are still persisting which is great it's only for this and this okay great so the same thing again we have to do this for the large so right click and here i want to go to main component so the same thing we hit enter enter we just hide the icon same for the small enter enter we just hide the icons great so that's the nice thing about creating base components and here we can see now that hopefully this is correct however what you can see is the leading is not persisting so if i go to this one that means i have to then go into each one so this is for the default if i go into each one and then hit enter enter again i want to then show the leading icons okay we go to the large set hit enter enter hopefully this has corrected it so again i hit enter enter and enter again and then in there I'm going to then go to the diamond and create component set. Okay, so if I delete those and hit enter, I'm just going to call this input slash demo. And then shift I input demo. And then I just want to see that everything works. So leading trailing great disabled and error perfect so the only last thing to do is to just rename the properties so you enter and here you just say size state leading icon and then trailing icon so we created an input variant with different states different sizes a leading icon and a trailing icon so please let me know in the comments if you know an easier, simpler way of doing this, because currently this is probably the simplest way that I've found at the moment.